Welcome to another episode of the Power of Personal Branding and Manifestation Podcast with your host, it's me, Malika, content creator, entrepreneur, and your girl to personal branding. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to start being a match for your manifestation, for you to get the result that you want, manifest money, attract your clients, attract your results, start being that next version of you, okay? And just start manifesting all this shit that you've been putting on your vision board, on your Pinterest folder, all right? And how, how to do that, okay? And how to be that bitch. So let's get into it. So grab your matcha, grab your drink. Me, of course, I have my matcha or go on your hot girl walk or whatever you do while listening to your podcast and let's get into it. So in order for you to become a match for your manifestation to be able to pour into your life and actually have it be so much easier for it to become reality, you need to start looking at your dreams as your goals. Because you see, like a dream is like something that you dream about, right? That is not into reality. Technically, it's just an imagination. And that's really how we see the word dream. Like, that is my dream. That is my dream house. That is my dream business. That is my dream platform. That is my dream following or whatever, okay? Like all these things make it seem less attainable for your brain on like a subconscious level and so you need to start shifting the word dream for goals because once you put it as a goal it becomes so much more attainable and it just shifts your brain into thinking instead of being like oh this is a dream this looks nice you start thinking into okay this is a goal how can i achieve this what are the steps i need to take to achieve this and it becomes just more realistic it becomes more into your dimension into your world and you're like oh my god this is actually a goal how am i going to reach that goal and everybody wants to achieve their goal right so much easier And this is why you need to be really careful of the word that you use when you describe yourself, your business, your goals, what you are wanting to achieve, because it will really impact the way that you go about it and the way that this affects your subconscious mind, which will then influence the way that you go about achieving these things or simply shifting how you think or what you think of yourself and what you're capable of. So let me give you an example, okay? For me, I used to tell myself, I'm not good at being disciplined. I'm not good at being disciplined. I'm not good (laughs) at this. I'm not good at whatever. And this was a big thing. Like it was not even a thing that was like, I was so conscious that I was thinking of. But because I was saying that to myself, that puts it as a definitive fact. Like it's a fact and I am not good at this. And therefore it leaves like my brain no way out of how can I get better at this, right? Like it becomes just a part of my personality. It becomes a part of my identity. And that's when you really get stuck. And, you know, that will also impact, you know, what you're capable of achieving. By always saying that, I was basically strengthening the reality that I already had. So I was just getting more of what I already had. I was always confirming that that was a fact and that was the truth for myself. And so again, no room to shifting that. So instead I started shifting to, I am always improving my discipline and getting better at it every day, you know? And then I started being like, okay, I can take action step for this. Like, what can I do to help myself be more disciplined? Another example for, let's say your goals would be, you know, if I get a client, then, you know, it'll be cool. Or if I get this, if I get a brand deal, if that, like that also impacts the way you're going to go about it. Because if you're not even certain that it can happen for you, you're not going to be as dedicated and as motivated. And the energy that you're going to put out to the world, to these people, to everything around you is really not going to be the same as like, I know I can like do this. I, I, I know that like I'm going to get these clients and like I can really like help them. And, you know, like it's not the same vibe. It's not the same energy and it's not going to get you the same result and attract the same kind of people around you. Or let's say another example around businesses. I don't know if people care about my business. I don't know if people care about what I do or my content or whatever. 
versus like, I can't wait for people to see the value in this. I can't wait for people to finally see how much my service help, how much my product helps them or, you know, like very different perspective. This is all about like shifting your perspective because once you shift your perspective, it really truly impacts the way you go about things and inevitably the action you will take and the energy that you put out and the energy that you will get back and the result that you will get back. And this start making your brain 100% believe you and you're going to stop procrastinating or making excuses or, you know, like putting it off. Because if you're always putting it off, it's because there is something that is in your way, like it's keeping you stuck. And so this is why the use of your word is super, super powerful into getting aligned with your manifestation, with the things that you want to achieve, with your goals. And this doesn't have to be about business. Like this can be for any aspect in your life, like love, friendship, money, income, spirituality, like whatever. Next, I want you to start being aware of who you are right now versus who you need to be in order to be a match to achieve your manifestation. Okay, like what is the difference between you right now and who you need to be in order for that to actually happen? And what you want to start doing is get rid of that imposter syndrome because the person that has the manifestation that you want in the future, you have to be that person right now in order for that manifestation to come in and so we need to tackle your imposter syndrome and start being that next version of you that is achieving that manifestation and so you need to start being and acting and embodying the next version of you that is a match for that manifestation with your energy with your vibration you need to be on the same vibration and vibe as your manifestation because if you're waiting for the manifestation to come in first and then after you're gonna be like once i have the manifestation i'm gonna feel like this i'm gonna feel good i'm gonna feel proud of myself i'm gonna take the action steps like no like you need to do it right now and that is what will get you the manifestation it's not the other way around is she posting more online is she showing up is she talking about her business is she like proud of herself is she always improving herself is she like organized <laughs> like you know like all these things are really going to impact the kind of result that you're gonna get and whether you are a match for your for your manifestation or not because the thing is if you are not ready to get that manifestation, like you won't get it because you're not ready to handle it. Like you don't have everything in place in your life to be able to one, like receive it, or maybe you didn't do everything in order to receive it. And then maybe if you would receive it right now, it wouldn't even work because like you wouldn't be able to keep up with it because you haven't figured out like something that works for you or you are just not embodying that next version of you that is a match for that manifestation. But obviously like affirmations and you know, the power of words like is not enough to get you to get your manifestation, right? You can't just like wish upon a star and be like, oh please, like this is what I want. Like, you know, that's not how manifestation works, okay? So first, obviously you have the step of your words, which will then impact your mindset and how you think of yourself, which will then impact how you act and take action. So this is the next thing that you want to do is to start taking action because we need to be living on the same vibration as our manifestation. So like, how would you feel? Would you feel proud, excited? Would you be excited to show up every day? And you know, because you know that this manifestation is coming, would you be putting more effort in? Would you be putting more time in? Would you be investing in something? Would you be investing time or money into equipments or courses or whatever? Like, what is the next version of you doing? Because that is the version that has your manifestation. And it's super important to also be able to have space for that manifestation to come in. So let's say you want to have more clients, okay? Do you even have time for more clients? Like, for example, for me, when I used to work at Sephora, okay, 
I would like I was so like tired all the time because I was overwhelmed and overworking myself so much because I would literally um, do a bunch of clients in the morning then I would rush home do my lunch go back uh, drive to Laval which is basically like an hour from my house and then I would work at my shift for like six hours then after I would like come back home would edit my content until like 10 or 11 i don't even know and you know like and then do it all over again and i was dead i was dying like it was, it was good you know it was booked out and busy but you know i would have not been able to handle more clients which is why i took the decision to actually quit sephora because i felt like i was ready for that next step in my business and i was like this is the time where i need more space to even be able to you know take more rest and not be overworked and have more clients you know because if i have a super busy schedule i'm not going to be able to have time to get more clients and this is what i mean by making space for your manifestation to come in let's say you want to manifest brand deals right well let's say you would have those brand deals do you even have time to like make those brand deals have time to edit them post them do you still have time to keep up with your normal content schedule along with that and delivering at the best that you possibly can and same thing for clients you know if you want more clients do you have time to take on that charge in your schedule and really like show up the best possible and still keep up with your business your content and be able to deliver just as much and this is what i mean by you know being able to handle the manifestations that are going to be given to you because you need to be able to handle them otherwise they will not come to you and making space for your manifestation is super super key to doing that same thing as let's say you want to manifest more freedom have more freedom in your day let's say that you would have more freedom right you'd also technically be making more income and so you would feel more abundant right and so let's say you have a free lunch like are you going to the restaurant and spending your money on a restaurant because you can afford it instead of just like holding back and being like oh no like i can't i can't take that time to go to a restaurant and do this for like this amount of time are you holding back on your desire because if you can already take a foot into what that feels like and you know be able to spend that money that you have and you know it's going to really help you manifest one more money and that freedom that you are wanting to have because you're going to feel what it feels like to have it and this will help you really realize that like it is right there it is right around the corner and you're going to start taking again the action step that aligns with getting that freedom and to touch on the money thing that i mentioned if you are always like holding back into spending your money when you know you could technically afford it well what you're telling your brain is that like i'm incapable of manifesting more money and i don't know how to like get more money so i need to keep all my money because when you can spend your money and you can spend your money on yourself on your desire on things that you don't necessarily need just because you want to that's when you know okay like you know the money i put out will always come back to me because i know how to manifest it i know how to attract more client and i will and like all the money that i put out comes back to me all the time always and you know your brain will always prove you right okay so make sure that you have something that serves you right okay and i know most of the time we want to wait for that manifestation to come in to let ourselves feel how we would feel when we have that manifestation so what i mean by that is like let's say you're trying to manifest x amount of money per month well you're saying okay once i have that money per month with my business then i'm gonna feel proud of myself then i'm gonna feel successful but if you're not already embodying that feeling of like you are successful and you are proud of yourself for everything that you're doing right now you're putting so much resistance in your own way and it's gonna take so much more time to get that manifestation because you are not in your energy like you're not in your energy and being in your energy impacts the way we do things and the result that we get so much and also the amount of energy we can put towards something 
right? So if I'm never feeling proud of myself, I'm always feeling like, oh, I'm not doing enough, I'm not doing enough, like, oh, it's not working, it's not working. Well, you're just going to get more of that because like what you focus on, you get more of. So if you're already focusing on, oh, I'm not doing enough, you're already telling yourself like, okay, what I'm doing is not enough. Therefore, this is not going to happen. So we need to switch the narrative again and really embody how you would feel when you have that manifestation before you even have it. Yes. Okay. And something I love doing with my manifestation when I'm planning my goals is really to look at a Pinterest board and really make a visual support for myself of all the goals that I want to achieve. And for each goal, I always write why I want it and how it makes me feel because that makes it so much easier for me to one, know the action step I need to take and to know how I should embody this next version of me that has this goal, how I need to show up in my life in every aspect of my life. And having it written down is so, so much easier to just have your mind be crystal clear on what exactly you're working towards. Because if you never really know like what you're working towards, it's really hard to, you know, get there fast. So make sure you are crystal clear on what exactly you want. And what I used to do when I really just got into manifesting and all that stuff and learning about it and learning about the process of making your goals happen and making it, making them come to life, I started doing little wins because little wins for me felt a lot easier and more realistic. And I really started building my confidence into, wow, I am able to manifest all these things. And I kept also a journal of everything I manifested. And I would always like do a little check mark at the end of the month of everything I manifested it like that I wrote down that I wanted to manifest. And this really helped me like strengthen this belief that like, oh my God, I am capable of doing all these things that I set my mind to that I want to manifest. And so really, really key to really building that proof for yourself and helping yourself make this into reality a lot, lot easier. And to touch on the imposter syndrome, okay, when you have an imposter syndrome, it really gets in the way of your manifestation because it's like you're not being aligned with your manifestation because the person that you are right now doesn't equal the manifestation that you want, right? Like the new version of yourself equals the manifestation that you want. So in order to really shift this identity, like in the imposter syndrome that you are currently experiencing, what you need to do is number one, like I mentioned before, switch up your words, okay? Switch up the words that you use and how you talk about yourself. Number two is start breaking down who exactly you need to be in order to manifest that and make it happen. Who you need to be in order to achieve that and really, really be precise on it. Like, how do you need to think? What do you need to do? How do you need to be? And number three, obviously, is to take action step in order to strengthen this new belief that you're building, this new identity that you are building of yourself. So what are the action steps that you can take that will then strengthen this new identity that you're building that is able to manifest what you're manifesting. And this is exactly the process that I explain more in detail in my signature program because of the fact that like this impacts the result that you get so much and not only in your business, but in your life. So that's why for me, like I need to teach this to everyone and for them to be aware of this, because if you're not in alignment, it cannot happen as easily at least, you know? All right, so that sums it up pretty much for this episode today. I really, really hope that you got so much value out of this. And if you know a friend that would really benefit from hearing this episode, definitely share it with them. If you've listened to this episode, share it on your story and tag me. I love seeing your reposts. And so I will see you in my next Tuesday episode. And as always, stay amazing. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in and don't forget to leave your five star rate and review on the podcast. I love to know what you guys think of the episodes and I will meet you here next week.